Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are joined by the one and only uh, Zay. How are you doing, I'm Zay? I'm good, brother. Can't good? complain. Yeah, it was good. Very nice having you here, man. Thank and you, man. to talk to you and ask you a couple of questions about the personal training life. So, uh, my first question, man, uh, how did you get to the personal training? Well, it's, it's, it's been, it's, fitness has always been in, in my life since growing up. I used to play a lot of sports and stuff like that, from primary school to high school. And being in shape was always a part of who I was. Yeah. Whether it's just to look good, feel good, perform better. Uh, and the older I got, the more I realized that uh, fitness is where I want to be. I want to pursue yeah. it as a career because it's an amazing lifestyle to live. Definitely. And people don't understand that, though. People think that they need the money or they need the exotic holidays or they just need a lot of friends yeah. to, to live a good life. But yeah. then when you look after your health and you exercise and you eat good food, that's the feeling you get. Yeah. You don't need and everything else just falls into place. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. That's why I wanted to talk to you, man, because you, I think you're one of the, the people that start this from the bottom, right? Yeah. Like, not just, as you say, not just having the money or something. But the sense, yeah. Yeah, very nice. So, what do you, so you you do personal training as a li as a living, yeah? As a, yeah, yeah. So, so for the past two years now, I've fully made it a lifestyle. So when I, I didn't when I started personal training, it wasn't easy. The industry was not easy yeah. at all uh, because a lot of people think you come into the market. There's thousands of personal trainers who've yeah. been doing it for four, five years, ten years, and you can't just come in to expect to make money or build a client base. Yeah. You've yeah. got to start from the bottom. Exactly. Uh, and I was working a few jobs, bartending, I was still doing promotion work and then still training two, three clients in the morning. Wow. And, and get to learn more. Get to learn that. more about that and also just grow yourself as a brand. Yeah. And grow yourself as an individual brand because social media is, is a business yeah. now. It's a business. So you can't just wake up one day and have followers or exactly. wake up one day and have all this, this amazing content. Yeah. People are like, Okay, you've got followers now, you have nice photos, how, how? Well, you need to start. Of course. <laughs> and you need to be consistent. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And uh, talking about uh, social media, Zane have an uh, Instagram. And uh, yeah, it's quite, you have quite a lot of followers. No, 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 I've got a lot of <laughs> followers. I'm still starting. I'm, I've been like on Instagram now for a year and a half. Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. And you have 13,000. Yeah, cool. exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's a better, like you mentioned, it takes, it takes time. Yeah, yeah, it takes time. Right. And it also shows consistency. Of course. But there's a lot of ways you can go on social media, you can buy followers or you can pay for promotions and all yeah. that. But then you're not building an uh, authentic community. You're not, uh, yeah. You're you, not, want, you want followers, people to follow you because they like you yeah. and you as a person. Not fake followers. Not fake followers. You want the organic followers organic, that want you yeah. to know more about your... So when I'm putting out content, I can reach people that's actually going to be reached. Yeah. Instead of me posting out something and I know, okay, well, I have these fake followers. I'm just doing it for my Instagram. I would really yeah. want to do it because if I could just impact one person's life, I'm that happy. is awesome. Yeah, man. that's exactly what I'm doing, man. That is yeah. exactly what, why I'm doing these interviews and and trying to get uh, people from different uh, different lifestyle. You know, yeah. people that do, does a lot of different things and try to to show to the people that just sitting home stuck. If this guy can do it, if Zen can do it, yeah. they all can do it. Right? If I can yeah. do it, they they can do it as well, right? Like. Um, so, so when did you decide? When did you decide to get in to take full time to the uh, train, uh, personal training? So I was still in the crossroads. I was still studying to become yeah. a personal trainer. I was still I was studying my sports science and nutrition, mm -hmm. and I like I loved fitness, but at the same time I wanted to make it so badly that yeah. it wasn't coming so fast that I got a bit annoyed. You know, yeah, like yeah, it's like oh, the same thing over and over, but it happens, and it's been consistent. That's yeah. the thing. And I was actually, I got a job for uh, a famous shopping center in South Africa, yeah. Gateway, yeah. and they made me the face. Yeah. So wow. they sponsor, yeah, they made, they sponsored me watches, clothing. They paid me every month, and all I need to do is go to the mall, eat, advertise. Wow. Uh, I was being presenting and everything, and, yeah. and I was still doing personal training. So then I thought this was my future. Wow. I thought, okay, I'm going to become a presenter. I want to go on television. I want to, you know, interview course, famous people yeah, yeah. because I was going down this path. Yeah. And then, uh, funny enough, uh, two three days later, I got a DM from a celebrity. That's what I was gonna ask yeah, you, yeah. but you can talk about. I got I got a DM from a celebrity on Instagram saying, "Hey, Lou, uh, I've, I've seen your profile. I heard about you. Someone recommended that you do personal training." And I was like, "Wow, this is 
She has a blue tick. She has a blue tick, and it's like two point five million followers. I was like, okay, that's that's pretty it's big. Good. Yeah, this can take your your business that's, to a new level. Yeah. Took my business to a new level. I was about maybe one thousand followers at the yeah. time, and posting so many workout videos, and it just wasn't going anywhere. So I started training a celebrity. We clicked really well. Uh, I helped her through her recovery, yeah. not just physically but mentally as well. Wow, that is that's, awesome, man. She didn't need me after three months as a personal trainer, the but she like kept thing. she kept me for another three months just so we just so I could help her, you know, with yeah. mentality. And, wow. I, and a lot of things that I endorse with my clients is there's a physical aspect, mm -hmm. cool, look after your body, exercise, but there's also a mental aspect. Yeah. You need to be strong up here. Because it's, it's, down to it's, it's a whole holistic approach because it's going to be one day you're like, I love the gym, I feel good, let me go exercise. Cool, amazing. Yeah. But then when you feel crap, True. Uh, when you're looking for motivation every day and it doesn't come, you don't gym yeah. or you don't do this. So you have to learn to control the mind. And from there, she, she helped me grow as, yeah. as my individual yeah. brand and everything else has kind of fell in place. Wow. I was, I got more celebrities contacting me. Wow. I went on a TV series. Wow. I was doing photo shoots for, for sports brands yeah. and then everything there I was like okay now I have a taste of the, the, the glitz of the fitness industry but yeah. now I really want to do this as a passion because now I can perform my yeah. and my, my goal was always to help people yeah. live a fitness lifestyle. That's beautiful man like uh, you can see how like sometimes you know sometimes life gives you a lot of bad shit yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. and then sometimes can change your life like this in a, for a better better life right because before before that i i came back from dubai and i was imported oh sure from yeah dubai. from dubai no I, way. I spent i was working in dubai three for three years and then uh me i was immature yeah so i was still very young immature yeah left the company started a new company didn't do it the right way didn't check all the boxes yeah and then i got long story got short i got screwed over lost everything in dubai no. and to come back to south africa and start from scratch so it was that starting from scratch that really kind of like was like wow. Okay, it just now, made you who you are today, Yeah, right? I was in Dubai three years, fancy apartments, wow. going on holidays, and now I'm back at home starting from scratch. So I think like you mentioned now in life, sometimes you're gonna take a you're gonna you're gonna crash the car. Definitely, yeah. But then you weren't meant to drive, maybe you yeah. just meant to walk. Exactly. Yeah. That's that maybe just how that was supposed to work for yeah. for you, right? Wow, what a story, man. Yeah, it's true. A very, very nice story. So, uh, my next wish, uh, question. So, you also do like uh, personal training and you also control the meals? Yeah, yeah. For yeah, your yeah. Trainer? So, yeah. when I, I know the hustle bustle about the fitness industry, especially as a personal trainer, uh, it's, it's tough because you've got to be stuck in the gym mm -hmm. and then you've got to work maybe nine, ten hours. You've got to train clients back to back. So, you, to make money, as a personal trainer is you need to be there spending your time yeah so i for me i didn't see that lasting for long i would have fell out of love with personal training yeah. Yeah. every day i'm just doing the same thing true, over. True. so i decided to to go more online so i, yeah. I started an online business That's where awesome. i started coaching people online through zoom whether it's through zoom whatsapp and i create them workout programs and i create meal plans for them and i'll do challenges with them and i'll be their coach online so even though I'm not there with you physically, but yeah. you, you have 24 hours of support with me and I will walk you through it. And the one thing that I'll teach you with online training is accountability. Yeah. Because you have to do it for yourself. Yeah. You pay for your workout plan and your plan, but now it's you that goes to the gym and it's you that eats your meals. Which means you get to learn more. You learn more, exactly. Yeah, and fast. And yeah. Well. Instead of having someone behind your back yeah, every yeah. day and then when that person is gone, you're like a baby. You're, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. So a lot of things that I've pushed with my online business is accountability. That is awesome. So what type of trainer training do you do? So I've been through phases, hey, I've been through, when I first started, I was really big into bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. So bodybuilding, I'd go to the gym, look heavy, I was like maybe almost 10 kgs bigger than yeah. I am now. Yeah. And eating, taking taking my meals with me in lunch boxes every day in a bag and just doing that. That's, what, I, that's, yeah. that's what I've been and, doing. And, yeah. and, I, and I did that, I did that. And you know, I, I lived the bodybuilding lifestyle, I lived that. I, with a little handbook, I'd go right in the gym, okay, I benched 1K, 100 kgs, next week 105, and I'd write everything down. Wow. But then it became so narcissistic that it wasn't enjoyable. Yeah. Because the routine was so structured that I was so scared to have a drink with a friend, or so yeah. scared to, to go enjoy pizza. Yeah, I know. It messed me up mentally. So what I did was I, I stopped completely, and I just said, I am gonna do whatever I wanna do for the next, say, two months yeah. of training. And my training stopped. I didn't go to the gym. I did a lot of running. Yeah. 
I did a lot of body work, body weight exercises, and I just, just yeah, I just crossfit type of workouts, and then I started playing with my diet, and then eating, cooking good meals, but then knowing, okay, I want a healthy pizza, I use cauliflower base, or I use low fat cheese, and started making all these these meals yeah, healthy, yeah. but enjoyable yeah. at the same time, not chicken and rice and broccoli, chicken rice and broccoli. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I took a more holistic approach. So my, my training now is based on uh, moving like the human body, the human body the way it's meant to be. Yeah. So making sure your joints are all flexible, your mobility is well. You, you can run five kilometers, but you can also do 20 pull-ups. Yeah. You able to use the human body effectively yeah. before you use a machine. Yeah. So that's what happens with all my clients. Where they're like, okay, so you are, you are giving your clients the, exp base, the experience based on you. Yeah, and if you say they try it on you, yeah, and it works. It's, it's, and it's also at the same time to be like, if if you stop gym and you stop meal prepping, how are you going to survive an active lifestyle? And people get confused because yeah. they've always they've always had the gym and they've always had their meals prepped. But when yeah. you take that away and you have to, for instance, go on holiday, no yeah, gym, yeah, yeah, yeah. you understand how to use your body effectively. That is awesome. Yeah. So the, the people that get to train with you, they get to learn all that stuff. Hundred percent. Yeah. That is, that is. Uh, and I actually trained with uh, Joe today. Uh, oh yeah, the, the American, the American guy. Yeah, yeah, we went to gym and he, he, he thought we were just doing chest. Yeah. But I said, okay, well we're doing chest, shoulders, and triceps. And he's like, two exercises. I was like, one. That's one. That's one exercise. Yeah, yeah. It's because you're attacking your whole upper body and also at the same time. We trained for like 30 minutes, but yeah. we did like maybe 20 exercises. That is awesome. Yeah. Short time and uh, short time. Keep, keep more. Keep keep the heart rate up. Keep the heart rate up, and also at the same time, you don't want to be spending hours in the gym yeah. to look good. You don't need to. So our my next question is uh, how how to be a very good uh, personal trainer. What is the what is the main point that makes you professional? You have to be genuine. You have to be you have to love what you do. But it has to yeah. be passionate about what you do, but also you have to believe in what you do. Yeah. You, so have, to, you, have, to be, you have to believe in it, and you, you can't lie. That's the thing. So if someone comes to me and they're like, oh, I'm 100 kgs, I want to lose 50 kgs. How do I do this? Well, it's not going to take you one week, two weeks. Yeah, it's probably going to take you a year to get yeah. in shape. Yeah. But you have to stick to the process and do everything. So it's a lot of things. is my three traits to becoming good at anything, yeah. any job you want to do. You have to be passionate, you have to believe, and you have to be honest. Yeah, trust yourself that yeah. you can do that. that you can do that. If you don't believe in yourself, yeah. how do you expect people to believe in True. you? Yeah. True. That's uh, that's right. That's right. So, so what kind of challenges that you face doing um, your your work? Uh, it's, like it's, working with people. What kind of like challenges that you get to like? Because well, sometimes people try to lose weight, but yeah. they can't, you know, yeah. even though they're eating healthy, yeah. they, they're doing the workout that you're giving them, but they cannot lose weight. Why is that? That, that just comes yeah. to that, yeah, so I've had those challenges in the past, but that's obviously the, the more I've matured in the industry, I've learned how to do the proper test with the client first, because there's not one fixed diet that's going to work for you. I might mm -hmm. give you a diet that you work, you lose weight. And another client does the opposite, you gain weight. Yeah. So you have to understand the client's body structure, you have to understand what, how they have like, made up with their genetics. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, you've you got to get every single information on the client first. Yeah, of course. So because also I think sometimes sometimes if people are like uh, having some mental issues, yeah. they may not lose weight because of the mental yeah. issues. So it's a, it's a stress, yeah, what you mentioned. Stress causes a, a decrease in leptin, mm -hmm. and leptin is the feel-good hormone in the brain. Right. So when you decrease leptin, you start as a male, you start producing estrogen. Yeah. And estrogen, the higher your estrogen is, the lower your testosterone will be, which means you're going to gain weight, you're not going to want to lose weight, the body just doesn't want to do anything. Yeah. So the minute you just change your mindset, you know, just a little bit more positivity in it, it can change the way you digest food. Wow. So if you, for instance, let's say you're eating a meal and you're watching something negative on YouTube or something, yeah. it's, you're getting that negative Brain. Yeah. So when you're eating, you're messing up your digestion already. So it's you. The more you eat, the more acidity and acid you create yeah. in the stomach, and it's, it goes super, super yeah, in depth. I know. Yeah. yeah. So wow. it's, it's just basically saying, just kind of be clear about everything you do. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, it's a, also like it's a really like a, it's like you are connected to yeah. another machine inside you that yeah. you need to give her certain things to be able to work perfectly, right? Yeah. hundred percent. And yeah. in the past, they used to have clients who would. Uh, want to go on that they, they want to lose the most okay so i'll give you an option okay the healthy option for me is if you want to lose 10 kgs we can do it in a month but i'll say rather lose 10 kgs in two months 
longer, slower, more healthier. But there was clients who want to use that fast, I'm like, okay, we'll yeah. do it together fast, crash diet, two hours cardio a day, eating in such a deficit of food, but then you, it doesn't last, and then you binge eat, and then you create this cycle, and then it's binge eating is a, is a proper mental yeah. disorder, and it comes from using food as comfort, and it also comes from over dieting yeah. and depriving the yeah. body. So that's a big challenge, because once you have it, I suffer from binge eating myself. Yeah. Yeah. When, I used to, uh, when I used to do modeling, I used to starve myself. So yeah. I literally only eat one meal a day, fast the whole day. So when you go just back and forth, you just... So you just want to eat and yeah. eat, or when you're done with the photo shoots, I'll be all lean, and then the next day I'm like, oof, blown up again, yeah. But you need to learn that, that's the thing. I think that's why you need to enjoy food, because food, it, you shouldn't have a relationship with food. Yeah. People are like, oh, I have a good relationship with food. No, 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 food is fuel, and food keeps you going. Yeah. So you, if you're driving a Porsche, you're not going to go fill up the Porsche with petrol. Or a, sh a, sh a, shitty, a shitty oil, you're going to give the Porsche the best food well, to is, run yeah. efficiently. Or you can have an old car and give it the shitty petrol and it's going to perform shitty. Yeah. So the moment you realize that you, your food is fuel and how you fuel your body, that's how you're going to feel. It's going to yeah. change everything. That is, that is awesome, man. That is awesome. So, so I heard you're going to, you're going to be, so talk to me about the story that you get to go to Dubai and work yeah. in Dubai. You've been in Dubai before and then you're back home, nah. starts from zero and then now we're going back. So talk to me about that yeah, story. So, so it sounds very it's, it's a crazy story. So I, was, I, was, I was doing, I was working in like hospitality when I was in Dubai and I, like I love hospitality. I love it because you get to meet people and yeah. It's, it's hard being in hospitality because it's, like it's a not hotel or something? Uh, like cafes. Yeah. So I was, yeah. I was managing a few cafes nice. and it's nice. But also it's long hours, it's, it's, it's a, tedious and it's, it's the same a lot thing. Of stress it's and, a lot of stress. Yeah. So when I got back home, it was like starting from scratch, not knowing what I wanted to do. Now, I'm, literally this is a dream job because A, uh, I'm going to Dubai doing what I love. I'm happy for doing you. Doing literally, literally what I love. Like this is for me is retirement. Because yeah. people are like, what's retirement? I'm like, retirement doesn't mean sitting on your money every day. I'm doing it in retirement, waking up being, fuck, I love what I do. Yes, yes. Excuse the language. No, no, no. It's, it's, like, it's like, wow, I love what I do and I'm making money from it. Yeah. That's, that to me, that's retirement. That's retirement, yeah. True. And so I've got this dream job in Dubai. At, it just happened from wow. just being consistent. Every day being consistent. You're trusting your job. And yeah, and just uh, having word of mouth spread. And then you never know who's, who's life you're going to impact. And then someone writes a review about you, you get a call from this person, and it's, you know, people send you messages like, wow, you changed my life. I follow you, and just by following you every day, you just you keep me positive. You know what I mean? Doesn't matter how crap I feel, yeah. I know that if I post something positive on Instagram, someone else will get affected. Sure. So you, you just do that. And now I'm going to be doing what I love. I'm going to be working for a really big guy. Uh, so they, they contact you, right? Yeah. This is a good story, man. They, yeah. they, you told me that you were in, you woke up one day and you have a, someone texting. Yeah, you know? and literally someone contacted me from the gym and uh, just basically yeah. saying, hey, like, you know, we love what you do and everything. Uh, what if, what, what's the chance of you moving on to Dubai? You know, we think you'd be fit for the brand. And who, I still never ask questions how you got my contact or where it came from. It must have just come from someone. Yeah. Someone must have just been like, you need to hire this guy. Yeah. He'll do wonders for your for your company. And then it happened. Then everything was history. Even though it was a little bit longer than expected. But now I have this, there, this, this route where I get to spend two weeks in an amazing an amazing country, Zanzibar. Oh, so man. It's, like, it's like a little holiday it's, first. Yeah. Clear the mark. And then I go back to the concrete jungle. Beautiful too. Yeah. It's, a, it's a good uh, place to set you up for Dubai and yeah. get to like be there. And that is awesome, man. That is like that's why you never you never like uh, wanna just uh, you never wanna be thinking about life that is finished. You know. Yeah. You don't wanna do that, right? Yeah. When this shit happens to you, you, you are you are gonna get back if you work hard and trust yourself, right? You have to, and I, I believe I believe in that that work ethic to my own because it's happened to me and people. Think, oh, okay, this guy's lucky. He's, oh, he's in Zanzibar. He has money. This that I'm not. It has nothing to do with it. It has. Okay, you either yeah. blessed with money, you come from a rich family, or you got to work for it on your own. And when you work for it on your own, you're gonna appreciate it a lot more. So when a blessing does come, you're gonna hold that blessing. You're never gonna let it go. Yeah. But exactly. you can't just wake up one day and expect. Mm. Okay. As you said, like thousands of followers. Yeah, yeah. Everything is beautiful. You gotta yeah. stay true to who you are and just keep working because it'll yeah. eventually work itself out. Definitely. So are you still uh, working online, yeah? Yeah. While so working still, in Dubai, you're going to be still working online. Yeah, so I, I feel as though like when I get to Dubai, I'll be able to really tap into a bigger market. Yeah. 
bigger market maybe uh, starts having my online business worldwide, mm -hmm. where from there I can create a website and just change people, changing thousands of people around the world, not just yeah. physically, but all just through online. And I think there's a huge market for it. The, oh, big market, man. Yeah. Everybody want to look good, everyone want to... 100%. Want to be like... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, man. So, um, uh, what would you say to the new coming customers? Oh, like uh, new... New uh, people that want to work with you, like uh, people that want to train and people yeah. that want to lose weight, what would you tell them? Well, I'll tell them that first, first of all, it's not a quick fix. Yeah. It's, it's not something that's going to happen overnight. Yeah. And uh, it's also to come with an open mind because you're going to learn a lot. So like, you, as, me, as having me as your coach, mm -hmm. I'm not just giving you a workout plan and a meal plan. You're basically coming to college with me. So you are my student and I'm yeah. telling you everything you need to learn. So after the four or six weeks, you're going to be like, oh, wow, I just felt like I studied personal training myself. Yeah, because so I know yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I look at it as like a college. And I always say this in the beginning, I said it in the beginning that one day I eventually want to have my own college yeah, man. where I train sure, where sure. I train trainers to, to be a different so type. To be certified for, for a personal trainer. Yeah, not so much certified, but give them a different look and outlook of the fitness industry. So yes, you need your, your, your certification, you need to be uh, uh, verified, but at the same time, you need to have an holistic approach to fitness. Yeah. Because when you have an open mind to fitness, you'll be able to uh, help a lot more people. That's true. That, that is awesome, man. That is, uh, that is really good. Like, um, as you said, like uh, when someone's uh, study from you, they, they feel like they, they are personally trained yeah. by themselves. Because I, I've been into that experience, you know, with the, the, my friend that I told you. He's doing what, what he's doing. And um, yeah, I was trying. He's the one that helps me, like, cut weight like they learn about nutrition or a lot of things and yes you feel like you know a lot of things about your body which is nice yeah. and you feel connected very very connected the best thing yeah because you learn you learn so much but then you know your body you know what foods to eat yeah. what foods not to eat you know how what foods make you feel good what foods make you and it's a learning curve so when you're yeah. alone you're like wow i could do this forever and it's it's longevity is what is what i uh, i preach it's, yeah Fitness and health is forever. It's not just I want to look good for a photo shoot or look no, good, no, no. For look you, good for yourself. Look you good yourself. for the, the wedding. No, you want to be able to do this forever. Yeah. That's <laughs> the best life to live. Man. Yeah. What advice can you give to the young people or anybody out there that's trying to get into a personal training business? Yeah, I think the best advice, advice I can say is one, obviously, we spoke about it earlier, is never give up. Mm -hmm. it's ne ne never give up. And at the same time, never stop learning. Yeah. Never That's stop right. learning. You never know too much, and it's impossible to know too little. So it's you, never enough. Yeah, you have to it's never. It's always, always, always. If you want to continue growing, you need to always just learn, 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 learn. And I still learn day yeah. in day out. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah. and it's the same thing. Never give up. Never stop learning. And also, just trust the process, yeah, because you, you are taking someone else's life in your hands. So you can either affect them in a positive way or a negative way. So just um, you look at it basically being a, a mentor or your coach or your psychiatrist, you're everything in one. So you have to understand a person, sure. not just, just understand, understand your training. That's a good training. You need to understand a person, the way they think and how they feel. Yeah. So that's a little bit like a close to like therapy kind of. It's basically yeah. it's basically the same thing because you changing from from changing your your nutrition and and exercising your body go through like a transformation yeah. where you are more positive in general you feel that you have it's endorphin it's like yeah. for me it's like a when, beautiful drug it's man. a beautiful drug for me like i haven't when i don't get an endorphin rush when i haven't trained one or two days i just feel like out of place and like, oh, like wow yeah. but the minutes i'm up in the morning i do that run the whole day is good it sets me up for success yeah that's that's for real man for real. so uh my next question my next question is, uh, what can you say to your family and friends and uh, the loved ones back home, around the world, whatever? Basically saying that this or is... <laughs> that helps you, yeah. that helps you be where you are. Yeah, because there's been, there's been a few people that have supported me since day one and they never gave up on me. Even though what I, what, what they try to see seems very far-fetched to yeah. what I said. Like, my mom was like, okay, you want to do fitness full-time, you don't, but you don't want to work in the gym, you want to, like, I mean... Mom just believed, trusted me, and she did that. So thank you for everyone who supported me back at home, and you know who you are, and it's only the beginning. Yeah, that's awesome. Dubai is a new chapter, and I think in Dubai it's going to be a big chapter in my life. Yeah, yeah. definitely, it's going to take your life to a new level, man. And they can see that you're a very, yeah. 
you're very talkative, very social, very, it's gonna help you a lot, man. And um, do you speak South African? South African, yeah. Say something to the South African people in South Africa. <laughs> Good job, it's a pillar when you're fair to not black, Latini, and Yato. So that's basically Zulu to say, you know, thank you, thank you, everyone back at home. I'm gonna make it. Love you too. Very nice, man. Very nice one. And uh, the next and last one for those beautiful people from Zanzibar, Tanzania, but a word to them. What can you say to them? Uh, you guys are awesome. Honestly, you guys are amazing. You're so respectful, so kind hearted, just, just happy, just happy in general. I understand that us as tourists, we, we come to your country, so and you guys are still very respectful, and you've got to obviously live off tourism. So guys, thank you for being pure. It's, it's, a, it's a country that I would recommend anyone to visit. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful country. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Nice weather, nice people, good food, good food. It's cheap, right? Yeah, yeah. No, it's definitely. It's, it's, it's reasonable to live at. Yeah, and it's, like I mentioned, you don't need much to 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 live a good life. Like, yeah, exactly. Wake up, watch the sunrise, yeah. or or just before watch the, watch the sunset like those two features are really going to make your day and it's free of charge that's right that's right so by the way uh, i like your tattoos man yeah, yeah. yeah. A bunch of tattoos there. yeah yeah so this, this is Arabic. basically uh in, in high school i was at his art oh you have arabic there. Yeah. 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 yeah wow wow did you, did you, did you, where did you get these uh, arabic tattoos uh got them in south africa Ooh, wow all in south africa uh some some in south africa south africa uh, uh, Dubai, Dubai, Thailand, oh, Bali. Oh, you, can't, you travel a lot. Yeah, yeah. So I tried. To, I tried to as much as it's not advisable getting tattooed in another country, yeah. but I didn't want to get it done. Nice. So at least I know where where I've traveled. I've got some. That's awesome. Let's move with the. Show me your move. Show me I don't know which way it starts. Mm -hmm. It's a serenity prayer. Uh, Give me the strength to accept the things I cannot change, the wisdom to know the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good, man. They're good. Yeah, nice. And I've got this done. This was my second tattoo ever. Yeah. And this is before I even knew about before I went to buy anything. I just like, I just love the the writing, the writing. Yeah. And this is a uh, Hebrew. Hebrew. Oh, yeah. 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 Wow, that's awesome, man. Big ones, bro. Hebrew, uh, old English, uh, Chinese. Wow. wow. So I'm uh, very, very itchy. Yeah, yeah. Latin. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Are you planning to get some more in Dubai? I will definitely Dubai. I'll maybe even planning on getting a tattoo. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. 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 This is actually, um, if you go down outside the hustle, yeah. down the road, there is um, this shop, coffee shop, they sell ice creams. There is a, there is a picture of the guy that does tattoos, the Italian guy. Okay. Very tattoos and his contact and stuff. Yeah, maybe yeah. I'll get a, something, something small. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, thank you so much, Zayn, for uh, joining us, and I hope you, uh, our fans or everybody that's yeah. watching this can learn something, <laughs> something from new. this. Yeah, and, yeah. and good luck with your future in Dubai, and I, I hope that you can take it to another level. That's the plan. And I, the plan. I can yeah. see that, man. I can see that. We can stay friends, and one day we'll make another another video. Another YouTube video, yeah. Another <laughs> interview when you are in the top of yeah. it. Yeah, we both got million subscribers yeah. and million exactly. followers. It's going to happen, you know. Why wouldn't so it? Yeah. where can they find you? Where can they find uh, you? So my, my social media handle on Instagram is Z underscore Ramsden, R-A-M-S-D-N. And then Facebook is Zane Ramsden. So for, but pretty much from Instagram, you'll be able to follow all my links. Awesome. And of course, if you come and you book something with them, you're gonna get this gun. Hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a free session. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Thank you, my thank brother. You, I appreciate it. Very nice. Very nice.